A blessed Saturday to us and Pete Senior. There is one very significant distinction that we make when we read the Gospel of St. Mark. Because the, the fifth disciple, or the, yeah, the, 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 the fifth disciple that he called, actually according to the Gospel of St. Matthew and the Gospel of St. Luke, was Matthew. The first two disi four disciples he called were Andrew and Peter, brothers, and then the other brothers, James and John. The fifth disciple to be called was Matthew. But if we read the Gospel of St. Mark, which is today's Gospel reading, there is no name, Matthew. Who was called instead? It's Levi. But Levi is considered to be the second name of Matthew. But what is so important here is the nuance, you know, the significance of the name. Now, Levi is not a very, is not a foreign name in as much as the Jewish people are concerned. And for those of us who are also familiar with the Bible, those of us who read the Old Testament, specifically in the list of the names of the sons of, the sons of Israel, the sons of Jacob. There is a name there that is Levi. In fact, he is the ancestor of the Levites the priestly clan, the priestly tribe. And Levi is considered to be a particularly important segment in the composition of the people of Israel. But it is not just only because of the role that he played. The Levites basically were the ones to whom Moses entrusted the teachings and the formation of the people because they're in charge not only with worship, but also with the formation of the people. But if we go to the very beginning, why he was called Levi, we go back to chapter 29 of Genesis. And Levi is the, was the third son of Jacob with his wife, Leah. And when Levi was born, his mother said, finally, my husband will be joined to me, will be united with me. And he named the child Levi. Because the word, the name Levi, or Le the word Levi means to be united, to be reunited, to be attached to him. And this is basically one very significant understanding we put at the back of the, as the background in the, in the vocation or the call of Saint Matthew or Levi to become a disciple, to become an apostle, to follow the Lord. Because to be called, as a disciple, whether ordained or not, okay, lay people and all of us baptized are called, we are called to follow the Lord. And what happens when we follow the Lord? We always have to be attached to Him. And this is at the same time a reminder for all of us. Because His vocation story, based on the name, He is attached to the Lord, is also our call. Every day in our lives, we struggle in order to not to be detached from the Lord. That's why we have so many prayers, we have so many activities. And by the way, today, dagan kayo tang mga gibuhat, ugma, sinulog, pista, senior, para sa sibu, no, sa tanan ng mga adunay dibuto sa Santo Nino. But all these activities are important manifestations that we are attached to the Lord, that we are close to the Lord. So our challenge now is to answer ourselves individually. How close am I to the Lord? And with that, let Levi speak to all of us. Because he left everything in order to be closer to the Lord. And the closer we get to the Lord, the more we get to understand and even struggle with the will, with his will, with his command, with what he wants to all of us. And as you answer the question, how close you are to the Lord, let this also your prayer be. This beautiful song from the film, God's Bell. And it says, day by day, dear Lord, I pray. Three things I pray. To see you more clearly. To love you more dearly. And to follow you more nearly. Amen.